Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. There's certainly been a lot of bobsledding at the Olympic Games. Four Man is coming up soon. If you've ever wanted to see one in person, you are in luck. There is one here in Terre Haute. With more on that story, here is our own Omar Tello. This bobsled is a piece of American Olympic history. It belongs to former Olympian Bruce Roselli, a Terre Haute native who served as an alternate on Team USA in the 1994 Winter Games in Lillehammer, Norway. It's so big that it needed to be taken apart before being set up at the Vigo County Historical Museum. This is about a 500-pound sled. Uh, it's a, a German-made sled. Uh, we had the, the United States American uh, built sled from the Bodine, but this was the one I had. Um, it's about $30,000 back in the late 90s, and now they're up to $90,000 to $100,000 a sled. If you've ever wondered what it looks like on board, here's an up-close look. They're capable of reaching speeds near 80 miles an hour and pull around 5 Gs of force. Bruce says he weighed around 225 pounds when he competed, but as you can see, is still able to fit in the sled. The steering ropes were taken out, but it's interesting to see the inside. He recalled many fond memories competing in the sport at the international level. This one's been all over the world, Austria, Italy, France, Norway. Um, it, it's just, you know, when you get on the World Cup, or we, we competed in Eagles Austria in the World Championships, uh, that was a, you know, a highlight of my career. Um, in Canada and then both tracks in Lake Placid, New York and, and uh, Park City, Utah. Park City was where Bruce served as a forerunner in the lead up to the Salt Lake City Olympics in 2002. When you go down the new track, there's nobody to advise you. It's just hang on and survive it. And I was fortunate to do that. So I'm, I'm humbled to know that I was asked, but also I took that challenge and wanted to, to be the first to go down those tracks. In addition to the sled, Bruce has other memorabilia also on display, like medals he has won, along with his Olympic coats. It's a fun in-person experience that ties in nicely with the Winter Olympics. At the Vigo County Historical Museum, Omar Tello, WTWO Sports. Thanks, Omar and Bruce, for sharing bobsled, one of many exhibits at the museum. They are open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5. If you would like to check them out. How about